Hey everybody, last one here. In today's video, I want to show you what you need to do to be able to craft weapons, armors and tools with 600 gear score, the highest possible gear score currently in the game. So let's go. First of all, we are not talking here about the named items. Those are deterministic items where the gear score and perks are fixed. For those, you just need to have the required level and the exotic materials to be able to craft them. What we're going to be talking about here is what you need to be able to craft the generic tier 5 items, things like Orichalcum tools, weapons and armors, with the 600 gear score. As an example, I will be talking about tools, but the exact same steps applies for weapons and armors, just with different names. So, when you are about to craft an item, the game tells you the possible minimum and maximum gear score you can achieve, given your current situation. If we had zero modifiers, a tier 5 item would have both minimum and maximum gear score of 500. That means that every item you craft would always have exactly 500 gear score. Now the first modifier we're gonna talk about here is the crafting skill level. If you check the experience table in New World DB, you will see that for tier 5 tools, it only contributes towards the maximum gear score. So by being level 200, that bonus is plus 25. So now our gear score range is from 500 to 525. The next modifier we have is the primary, secondary and tertiary materials. For the best bonus, you want to use their epic variants. Those that you need level 200 to refine. So Asmodian, Runic Ladder, Glittering Ebony and Phoenix Weave. Each of those add plus 15 for both minimum and maximum. So by using all three, we get plus 45, plus 45, raising our gear score range to 545 to 570. The third modifier we have is your gear perks. First, all your armor, that is helmet, chest, gloves, pants and shoes, for our two example, needs to have the engineer expertise perk. Each one of them will add plus two minimum and plus two maximum, for a total of plus 10, plus 10. In addition to that, your earring piece can also have a crafting related perk, that in our tools example is called Engineer Mastery. That alone gives plus 5 minimum and plus 5 maximum. So, all the gear combined gives a bonus of plus 15 plus 15, and will raise your gear score range to 560 to 585. Then we have the fourth modifier, food. Each crafting skill has its own tier 5 food. In case of engineering, you need to consume the herb crusted vegetables. Blech. That will give you plus 15 minimum and maximum for 40 minutes, raising your range to 575 to 600. So this is all that is necessary for you to be able to craft the 600 gear score items. But you can increase your chances by raising the minimum even further. For that, we have the fifth modifier, trophies. Those can be added to your houses, and each house can only have a single trophy for a given crafting skill, but that is per house. So if you have three houses and one major trophy for the relevant skill, in our example the major engineering crafting trophy, you will get plus 5 minimum from each one of them, for a total of plus 15, bringing our range to 590 to 600. But it's not over yet, there is one last modifier you can get. That is the town project. If you are crafting in a settlement that has the correct town project activated, in our example would be the engineer's patience buff, it gives you another plus 5 minimum, bringing you to the final range of 595 to 600. So that's basically 17% chance of getting that perfect 600. And that's it, that's how you craft the best possible gear score items currently in the game. As always, if you found this useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video, and I hope to see you all on the next one. Take it easy.